Every human culture has rites of passage. They mark the transition from one stage of life to another. We are gathered here to celebrate Voyager's rite of passage. A machine designed, built, and operated right here at JPL has broken free of the sun's gravity, explored most of the worlds of the solar system, and is now on its way to the great dark ocean of interstellar space. It carries a phonograph record of greetings, pictures, and the world's great music to any beings who might one day encounter it. The men and women responsible are gathered here. They are heroes of, of human accomplishment. Their deeds will be remembered in the history books. Our remote descendants may live on some of the worlds first revealed to us by Voyager. If so, those descendants will look back upon us as we look on Christopher Columbus. Voyager left a planet blighted and imperiled by nuclear weapons, climatic change, poverty, injustice. The species that launched her was a danger to itself. But Voyager has given us a stirring cosmic perspective. We have seen evidence of the destruction and reconstitution of worlds. We have witnessed the early building blocks of life assembling themselves. But we have found not a trace, not a hint of life itself. Voyager reminds us of the rarity and preciousness of what our planet holds, of our responsibility to preserve life on Earth. If we are capable, of such grand, long-term, benign, visionary, high-technology endeavors as Voyager, can we not use our technological gifts and long-term vision to put this planet right? Perhaps the Neptune flyby marks not just Voyager's rite of passage, but the beginning of our own, the binding up of the peoples and nations and generations to take care of one another, to cherish the Earth, and bravely to venture forth in the footsteps of Voyager to the planets and the stars. <laughs>